Got one like already. You're live. Hey. Okay. Wait, I want to make sure people are here. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Are we getting? Just wait. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what happened. This is why I'm freaking out. Um. Yay! There's people coming. Adam saying yes. We are actually live this time. Thirteen. <sighs> okay. So. <laughs> So you wouldn't believe what just happened. Um, so I had this brilliant idea. Hello everyone, by the way, so glad you're joining me. So I had this brilliant idea that today is Pi Day, as in P-I, you know, the mathematical symbol, Pi Day. I'm sure there's a P-I-E day somewhere too. Um, but for Pi Day, I thought, man, wouldn't it be so cute if I, Pi, were to make Pi on Pi Day! And so um, I just came up with this idea like two days ago and I thought, okay, Adam, let's do this and let's just do it live because like it has to go up on Pi Day. And so here we are scrambling everything to get everything ready. Adam is still holding the- 235. 235 people? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. So, <laughs> so here we are getting everything ready. I started cooking, we were streaming and Adam's looking at me like, Nobody is watching. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? It's like, like zero. Like nobody's here. And I'm like cooking my pie filling and having a good time with myself. And uh, turns and I'm like, what? How could that be? People must be off work by now. Surely somebody's home. Um, so it turned out I didn't set a video on public. So we were going live just for Adam and I, <laughs> we were streaming live to ourselves. So thankfully, see this is why I didn't announce it, you know, I'm gonna be live at this time and this time because I had a feeling something terrible was going to happen. Um, so thankfully we still have enough ingredients and I didn't, you know, go too far that we had completely just, you know, not had anything to redo it. Um, so here we are and there are people. Um, just a little... Yes. Make the comment about comments. Make the comment about comments. That's right. Um, we found out from our last live that the comments that are being posted right now, like during the live feed, I can't actually see them. So if you have quite, if you want to say hi to Adam, who can see the comments, go for it. If you want to just make general comments to each other, that's fine. But if you have specific questions about the recipe that you want me to answer, or um, comments, or comments that you want me to see, uh, post it after the video has been uploaded as a recording or you know write me on Facebook Twitter Instagram and all that stuff if you ask if there are questions that are coming up Adam if it's important or is a you know it's a pertinent question to what I'm doing right now and if you have time and if you can catch it you can read it out too and hopefully <laughs> no <laughs> I'm not going to make the pie <laughs> anyone saying hi Adam hi everyone um, yes, so if Adam can read them in time and it's a question that you can read out loud, I can answer quickly. Um, we can what time is there, there right now? It is, I don't know, four, five o'clock. Because we just went through our... Because we just yeah. went through our daylight savings, so now everything is messed up. Um, okay, so I am making today, let's get going with the cooking again. <laughs> um, cherry pie, not just any cherry pie, but cherry cheese pie. I love cherries. Cherries is my mother's probably favorite fruit. One of her favorite fruit anyway. We don't have cherries in Thailand, um, but when she came to the States a long, long time ago, she was so excited. She got to go to this pick your own cherry farm. And ever since then, she was completely addicted to cherries. And now whenever she sees them in Thailand, and they're so expensive in Thailand, you wouldn't believe it. Like $20 for like a box of cherries. Um, but she still, she still loves it, so she still buys it. So I want to make this, I guess, in honor of her. And also because I didn't really plan on this, as I said, I just came up with this idea two days ago. So I had to sort of work with whatever I had in my fridge. And I, and I have a bag of frozen cherries in my fridge, which I throw into my smoothies. Um, and so, because this is live cooking and I'm making pie, this pie is going to be no bake because if you bake at all, you know that that's just not possible unless we're going to be here for two hours. Um, so I am making a pie that's super quick to make and it's actually a really useful thing to know about in general because I don't know about you, but it happens to me a lot where I need to go somewhere for dinner. I've been invited for dinner and they're like, 
oh, what can I bring? Oh, why don't you bring dessert? And I'm like, okay, sure, sure, sure. Comes day off, I've completely forgotten about preparing anything, and I have to come up with something dessert that can be done like that day. Um, and there are, which rules out a lot of desserts, pie, like traditional pie being one of them. Um, so my tofu chocolate mousse is something I go to a lot because it's quick and people are always impressed. Oh my God, this is so good, it's tofu. Um, this is another one of them that I just came up with specifically for this occasion. All right, so let's get started. So to make this easy, so the hardest and most flavor intensive part about pie is obviously the crust. So it is completely okay to use store-bought pie shells, which I have down here. If Adam would move the camera. Yes, if Adam would move the camera, yes. So um, there is no shame in that, don't judge. Uh, these are delicious and beautiful, and it's okay to do something like that. I mean, we're all busy, you're busy, I'm busy, and if you have time to make your own pie crust, go for it. I have a recipe on pieskitchen.com on my pumpkin pie uh, recipe. That same crust will work for this recipe, but if you're busy like me, there's no shame in that, okay? Now, the crust is ready to go and it's cooled. Now I'm gonna make the filling super easy. In this pot here, I have frozen cherries, which um, have been thawing. So these are, and these are massive cherries. They're, there's something not right about these cherries. But, um, but I, so I had to cut them in half, but if your cherries are normal size, you can just leave them whole. And all this liquid that you see in the pot is actually just the juice that came out of the cherries. So I didn't add any liquid, anything at all. That's just how much liquid there is. And that's why it's so easy to use frozen because when it's frozen, the fruit's already sort of broken down. So the cooking time on here will be so much less than if you were to start with fresh cherries. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this sort of to a simmer. While that's going, I am going to make my thickener super easy. Um, in here, I've got cornstarch, which is gonna be the thickener of my pie. Now, you always see me before I add starches to a boiling liquid or cooking liquid, I always dissolve it in a little bit of water, right? To make sure it's not clumpy. There's another thing you can do if you don't wanna add any extra liquid to your food, which in this case, I don't. I don't wanna dilute all that juice anymore. So I'm gonna add some sugar in here. There we go. So I got a couple of tablespoons of sugar in there. I mean, this is obviously going to depend on how sweet your fruit is. There's been a couple of questions on yes. you prefer frozen to fresh then? For pie making, yes. Um, especially cherries. I've made like cherry pie with fresh cherries that I went and picked and they don't break down. Like I put them whole and I bake them and they don't really break down enough. They come out still whole, but for pie, you want them kind of soft and mushy, right? And frozen is not, there's nothing bad about frozen fruit, depending on what you're using, of course. So now, my little shaker, I'm gonna shake it. <laughs> and this will disperse the star, <clears throat> excuse me, disperse all the cornstarch and will prevent any lumps. Okay, so that's how you can add dry starch to cooking liquid without clumping, without having to dissolve it in water. Whew. There we go. So now this is boiling. I'm going to add my sugar and cornstarch mixture, cornstarch mixture, and quickly stir that up. Come on. And cornstarch, whenever you use cornstarch to thicken, you want to let it boil because cornstarch does not reach its full thickening power until it reaches, I believe, 205 degrees Fahrenheit. But to be sure, bring it to a boil, then you get to 12, then you know it's fully, fully cooked. Oh, oh. Adam, come closer, look, it's thickened. You're missing the action here. Oh, there, oh. thickened, not too close, you melt my phone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but look at that, beautiful, and that's it. Like Because the cherry's broken down, your pie filling is like, instantly done. Now obviously, if you're making this for the first time, you want to check the taste. Is it sweet enough? Add a little more sugar. If your cherries for some reason have a lot of juice, then you want to, um, maybe you need to add a little more cornstarch, but this will also thicken as it cools, so this is fine. Someone asked, yes. uh, could you take the cornstarch? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> it goes past so fast. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> so whatever uh, that add uh, was... cornstarch to liquid from the cherries and then add yeah, it out. Yeah, of course. You can do that as well. Yep, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I got it. <laughs> okay. By the way, every country, wonderful. Every country you know, in the it's, world. It's just awesome. fantastic. Um, Remind people again, 
Remind you can't see these. Again, I can't see the questions. Nor will you ever. <laughs> nor will I ever see the questions that are posted during the live feed. So if you have questions specific to the recipe that you want me to actually answer, post it after or Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any of those platforms. Cool. Okay, so cherries are sweet, they're great, but for dessert, I find them too one dimensionally sweet. I want a little tartness, so I'm gonna add a little lemon juice and the mesh is there to catch the seeds, which is something I don't have to worry about when I cook with limes. At least limes in Canada, anyway. Limes in Canada don't have any seeds, which I found very strange because <laughs> limes in Thailand have seeds, and you know, the seeds are always something you have to deal with. And here, like, there's something wrong with this lime, there's no seeds. But I guess it's convenient in some ways. So anyway, yes, so you can use lime juice if you want. I just need some brightness, some acidity. Mmm. Now, I need to let this cool. Hopefully it'll cool enough, cool fast enough so that when I go to taste it at the end, I don't burn my mouth with hot cherries because that would be really painful. Okay, so I'm gonna let this uh, cool in a cold water bath. This water is not very cold now. So let's see if I can get it a little colder. So this is, by the way, the fastest way to cool down something is to let it sit in a cold water bath an ice water bath even better. Um, some people will say, well, I'll just transfer this into like another bowl and they transfer it into a big, big pirate glass bowl. And glass is a terrible heat conductor and it takes a long time for things to cool down in glass. So. Someone asked if I'm eight feet tall. Yes, I'm sorry. Adam is really <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Adam's so slower. I know it's so hard. Um, okay, so that's gonna. Adam is what six three or something like that. That's about right. Um, he constantly sees the top of my head. He doesn't actually see me. I don't know what you look like. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so that's the filling. So now we could stop there and just fill the tart and be done with it and have delicious cherry pie. But I'm going to make a cherry cheese pie. Mm. And the cheese part is sort of like, think of this as uh, like a cream cheese frosting type thing. It's going to add creaminess, a little tartness. Oh, it's going to be so good. It really makes it. So that can go. And I've got the filling here. So I cheated a little bit by beating my cream cheese and butter ahead of time. And I figured I should do that because otherwise you'd just be watching me beat cream cheese and I won't be able to you won't be able to hear anything because it's super loud the so background gonna, music yeah. you know get that going ahead of time I'm just gonna give it a quick blitz just to you know soften it up again see if I've done this for two minutes you can and this is why I did it ahead of time um okay so now I'm gonna add a little lemony freshness with the lemon zest with my microplane, one of my mm. favorite tools in the world. Just a quick, I'm making very little, as you can see, my tart shells are super mini because, you know, I love mini versions of everything. So mini tarts are better than big tarts. Um, and also, when it comes to tarts, you get more crust, which I love. I love crust. So when the pies are big, I never feel like there's enough crust. So when they're little, there's like oh, more crust, more buttery, more crunchiness. Um, and also I'm going to add some icing sugar. And if you've ever wondered why we use icing sugar in frosting, that is because granulated sugar wouldn't dissolve. So icing sugar will. So now I better not turn this on right now because it's going to just kick the sugar up all over my face. Someone oh. said you're the reason they have a, a, a microplane and walk spatula. And mini spatula! Mini utensils. Okay, that's not so bad. I thought it was gonna kick sugar all over my face. Ooh, yes, look at that. That's why I moved back here. Huh? That's why I moved back here. Oh, I see. Sorry, what? That's why I moved back here. Moved back where? The explosion of oh, icing sugar. Oh, that's why you're not over here. <laughs> And that's it. Like, as, once you get it smooth, that's all you need. You don't need it to be light and fluffy or anything. No, we want dense, denseness. Okay. And what I love about making little tarts too. Sorry, it's gonna be loud for a second. 
Oh, I'll lick that off later. Um, what I love about little tarts too is that you don't have, you can make, and this method of making pie, you can make as much or as little as you want, really, right? Like when you actually commit to making a big pie, you end up with a ginormous pie, and unless you're going to a party, you've got people to feed, then you just end up with all this. This, I can bake like two of these if I wanted to, and the, the cheese filling and the cherry filling will last a long time in the fridge. So you can just, you know, make yourself one every day, portion control. So there we go. So now, I think that's done. Give me a taste. Oh, that's good. That's good. Just a little tartness and sweet and creamy and that lemon zest flavor is coming through. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, I may get the beaters afterwards if I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let me clear this here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the bottom of this. I guess I can use this. No, let's not. Oh, counterintuitive oh. camera control. I'm going to fill the bottom of these tarts. Where do you want me? Oh. Right here. Right here. This one's the one I'm going for. Okay? You got it? Okay. Fill the bottom of these tarts with this cream cheese filling. Oh, yes. And you can fill it as much or as little as you want. It's a great thing about this too. This is so good and so easy. I've always found live cooking fun when I do these sort of local you know, television segment, there's always a, an adrenaline rush about them. Okay, so moving on to the cherries now. Hopefully it's cool enough. Yeah, that looks... Okay, yeah. That's cool enough. It's warm. Mmm. But it's, it'll do for now. So I'll just do two as a demo. Like, you just know this is gonna be good, right? Spoons. Here's another spoon. Okay. Take some cherries. Ooh, and then if you let this set, it will be a little firmer. Oh, look at that. Look at that color. Oh, yes. And you want this thick enough so that when you bite into it, it doesn't like completely run all over the place. Look at that. Mmm. And you can do this with other fruits. Like it'll probably work really well with blueberries, strawberries. Oh man, that just looks so good. Okay, I'll do just that for now and we'll make some more um, for Adam later because those, <laughs> both of those are mine. Um, Bonus. Garnish, I think because we've got some lemon flavor in there, doing a little bit of a, a lemon garnish of some sort would be cool. So what you can do is do a lemon stick. I don't know what to call it, but I take a peeler and I peel a nice chunk so you get a nice strip like this. Come closer. Mm -hmm. If you've got a lot of white on the bottom, I would go and take off the white because that's bitter. But if you didn't, that's fine. And then I'm just going to do some really thin lemon strips. I used to do this a lot for this particular um, hors d'oeuvre we made at this catering company I used to work at. and so. Just bringing back some memories and then you do a little lemon flag or I don't know what to call this lemon sprig sprig and you can do a two and make an X what technically it's not a sprig but technically we'll go with it's that. not a sprig but we'll go with that and you can do a little X there we go you can just grate a little lemon zest over it too but I think this makes it a little more luxurious and look at that look how cute these are okay I'm going to eat it for you, as I usually do. <laughs> so I don't get the first one. But this will be messy. <laughs> Adam, Adam can have that one. It's so funny. So when I, you know, when I film and my regular video, my edited video, I'll take a bite and, you know, I'll take my time chewing or whatever, right? And, and so you don't have to sit and watch me chew. <laughs> so, but for this, you're going to have to sit and watch me chew. So I don't have to talk with my mouth full. <laughs> Okay, here we go. It's okay, everyone. I don't mind getting the second one. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so good. Look, it should be perfect so that 
it doesn't run off. I hate it when you, you know, you know, we've all seen that. You cut into a pie and the filling just comes gushing out and doesn't hold. It should be firm enough that it can do that. So good. You want this, Adam? Not enough hands. <laughs> Adam has gum in his mouth anyway, so. That's true. So that's it, guys. I hope this gave you some good ideas. It's so good, man, that crust. They use lard, this brand that I buy. They use lard and that, and that pie crust, and it's so good. I hope this gives you some ideas. As you can see, it was so quick um, to put together. So if you got some frozen fruit in the fridge, you get some cream cheese, or if not, there are only a few things you need to buy from the store. Most things are available at any grocery store. So I hope pie making pie on pie day has been as fun for you as it has been fun for me. If you have any questions, leave the comment, leave your comments after this video is finished <laughs> or on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I will see you next time. Any last? Yeah. Um, just, uh, the shirt, uh, the, the t-shirt, uh, several people want the t-shirt. This was, um, I had this on Teespring. I had this for sale during the Christmas, the latest Christmas, um, what season latest holiday season i have these for sale um i if you guys like it i will figure out a way to have them for sale again <laughs> so um thank you for letting me know that and one last reminder to people about the comments because there are people who showed up okay. much later after your yes so the comments that are being put up which are amazing which are amazing and thank you and but adam no one is taking it all them. in for me um, <laughs> But if they're actually questions you want an answer to, I don't see them and they will not be here when the video is finished. So leave them after or Once leave it on posted. Facebook. Right, yeah. Write me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Like I'll definitely see them that way. All right, you guys, have a great pie day. And if you make pie, send pie your pie photo. <laughs> uh, happy, have a good evening, everyone, or morning, afternoon, wherever you guys are at. Bye.